Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my November 2022 BoxyCharm Premium Box Unboxing. And so begins another month of beauty subscriptions. So here on my channel, I unbox all of the BoxyCharm boxes, all of the Ipsy Glam bags, and I am so excited to be starting another month. I, by the way, pay for all of these. I don't get them sent to me PR sponsored anything like that and I also will be trying out all of the makeup products that I get in my beauty subscriptions as part of my trying a new makeup product everyday series that I do here on YouTube so I'm really excited to get into this month's box let's go ahead and see what I got first I've got some product information here I love to add up my total retail value of BoxyCharm because you get all full-size products and the BoxyCharm premium box comes with six full-size products whereas the BoxyCharm base box comes with five so let's see what my products are okay first sculpt lift bar from skin ink this kind of looks familiar I actually use a roller every day as part of my skincare routine, but this seems, oh wait, it has an on off button, but maybe I have to put in batteries because it's not doing anything. <laughs> okay, interesting. I don't really know what this is even for. It came really nicely packaged though, so I feel like this is going to be a pricey product. Let's check out my product information here. The Skin Ink Sculpt Lift Bar 24 Karat Gold provides multiple benefits for inner and outer beauty for glowing skin and a youthful appearance. The pulsating massage is also relaxing and de-stressing. For busy urban nights like us, this handy tool is a real time saver in our increasingly hectic lifestyles. Retail value of $125. Okay, so, oh yeah, I think I do have to put a battery in it. Maybe I'll start using this instead of my roller and see how it does. Okay, cool. That's, yeah, very high retail value there. Okay, next, oh man, another skincare product. I really prefer to get makeup in my beauty subscriptions and that's the feedback that I always give. But here I just pulled out the Wishful Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. Yeah, a cleanser is definitely not something I'm too excited to get. I have way too many cleansers now. Ooh, it's very nice packaging. Ooh, looks very creamy. Smells pretty nice. I just don't really prefer to get skincare because I use the same product until I've used it up completely pretty much every time and then I get to tell you about them in my empties videos so I'm excited to try this out eventually but it's not something that I see myself getting to use very soon but the wishful clean genie cleansing butter retails for $35 Next, oh, another complex culture product. I get so much complex culture and most of it I don't like. And you know what's very frustrating? This executive level mascara is a product that I've already gotten in Ipsy. I've tried it out here on my channel in a dedicated review video, which I can have linked down below, but I didn't like this. <laughs> so not only did I get it for a second time, I don't even like it. So that's a real bummer. Okay, this month's box is off to a bad start for my preferences. So the Complex Culture Executive Level Mascara retails for $28. Next, I've got, is this from the brand Saint Lux? I don't recognize this brand. Yay, I am excited to see something from a different brand because I really love getting to learn about and try new brands through my beauty subscriptions. And from this packaging, I have no idea. Oh, lip liner duo, okay. Well, I do love a lip liner. We've got a red and we've got a brown. I guess 
I'm not too excited about this either because I love a lip liner, but I like it to be a neutral, like a nude, very similar to my natural lip color. That's the type of lip liner I wear every day, the type of lip liner I'm wearing right now. So while I'm excited to try out this brand, these are not colors that I'm probably going to really be able to get use out of on my lips. But so the St. Lux Morganite and Carnelian Gel Lip Liner Duo retails for $30. Oh gosh. I have one more product left underneath the foam here. And this better be a good product because this is one of my least favorite BoxyCharm boxes I've ever gotten. Oh, I was wrong. There's two in here. Maybe we can make it up. This is from Iconic London, which I like. It's Precision Duo Contour Pot. Light shadow. I don't even know what this is. Ooh, some nice packaging. There are two colors in here. Oh, like a lighter and a darker. Hmm. So good thing there's product information for me to figure out what this is. Oh, well, it does say on the back here, shape seal set, an innovative combo of velvety cream to shape, then seal all over with your chosen base and set with suede powder. What? I don't even understand what that's telling me. The Iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pots. Two-in-one cream and powder contour pots for a natural lifted look. That doesn't really help me either. But <laughs> I'll figure this out. I will hmm, try that out in a video. It's definitely intimidating. <laughs> but it retails for $29. And so now my final product in here is a pretty exciting redeeming product from the looks of it. It looks beautiful. It's from Dominique Cosmetics, The Moment Palette. Oh yes, an eyeshadow palette. Oh, ooh, I just love this packaging. Ooh, pretty. These are big pans, a lot of pretty shimmers, colors that are a little different than what I'm usually using but colors I'm really excited to play around with because I love greens. We've still got some good neutrals in here. Yay, this is a good product for me to end on. Definitely the product I am most excited to get in this box. So really overall, less than half of the products that I got are ones that I'm excited about. Really only the ones that I'm excited to have gotten that I would have maybe chosen on my own. The Dominique eyeshadow palette and the Iconic London Contour Duo. I'll continue on doing a recap of everything I got and then I'll let you know my total retail value. So then I also got the St. Lux uh, Lip Liner Duos, the Complex Culture Mascara, the Wishful Clean Genie Cleansing Butter, and the Skin Ink Sculpt Lift Bar. So it's a pretty high retail value because of the expensive sculpt bar here, but it comes out to $296. But I just feel like it really was not well curated to me, but I'm gonna have to see once I go and try out these products, maybe I'll be more excited about this box if I really love them. So if you have tried any of these products, let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.